Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another video. And for this video, I'm just gonna sit down because a little out of breath from shooting the last videos, walking around, holding a big rig. And um, yeah, you know, I feel like it's a, a good thing to have a one-on-one -on -one experience, you know? So um, today's video, we are gonna be talking about five tips on starting your first YouTube channel. And I've actually made a list on my phone here, um, a couple bullet points here that I'm going to talk about for you. Um, now, these are bullet points that you know I've created pretty quickly, so it may not include every little thing, but it's going to include the things that really matter. You know, the, the things I've learned over doing you know 10 years of YouTube, um, you know, all the channels I've had, the different audiences I've had, a little bit of everything. So that's what today's video is about. Um, so first thing is uh, don't focus. Don't focus on view count or sub count. So basically what I mean by this is don't focus on the view count. Don't focus on the sub count. If you start your channel, you're not gonna have that many subs. You aren't gonna have that many views. You're not really gonna be known out there whatsoever. So don't worry about it. You know, the views and the subscribers will come, um, but that'll lead us into the next point here. Um, try to stay motivated. And what I mean by this is it can be very depressing really to, you know, look at your channel and not see anyone engaging and, and you're like, you know, what am, I, what am I doing wrong? Um, you know, like what's going on? So try to stay motivated, you know, uh, look at other YouTubers out there, you know, big YouTubers that you're a fan of. Um, try not to compare yourself to them, but look at them as more idols, you know, like role models. Um, because that way, you know, you'll, you'll kind of look at their beginnings and how long it took them. Um, a good way to do this is to go to socialblade.com. And um, I'll put a link down in the description below, but socialblade.com, they track the statistics for every single YouTube channel out there. Um, every Instagram, every TikTok, I believe too, um, every Twitter account, all of the data is there for you to look at. So you can kind of see you know, how long it took them to get started, to get their following going. Um, and for most people, you know, most big YouTubers out there, it has taken years for them to get there. So it's not, you know, a quick 100,000 subs or quick 1 million views kind of thing. Um, it does take a lot of time, a lot of work and motivation, like I said. So um, next point is going to be consistency. And this is very, very, very important. Um, this is the reason why I post videos for you guys every single week, regardless of you know, like if I have time or not to shoot, that's why when I go out, I shoot multiple videos at a time. That way I can go out and get some stuff done for the next couple weeks or so. Um, just to make sure I have content for you guys because the YouTube algorithm, I'm pretty sure it still looks at consistency um, for putting your videos out there. You know, um, there is a, a page at the start of YouTube. Um, I believe it's called like creator spotlight or something like that like there's an area where they put growing channels um, that are brand new um, or not that old really but like anything that's starting to gain a little bit of traction they'll throw it on the main page and when they do that you're going to get way more followers way more views and that's how a lot of youtubers started um, their big following was because of that so Consistency is good because you may have a video that goes viral all of a sudden or does pretty well. You know, it may not be like a million views, but like if it does pretty well, that's good. Um, so consistency is good um, at least once a week. Um, it, it's totally up to you how you want to do it. You know, you can post whatever day of the week you want. Um, I would stay away from the weekends, though. Doesn't seem that many people watch on the weekends. Um, you know, they're busy and, and whatnot. So um, sometime during the week. You know, pick a day, start posting on it. If you want to do two times a week, you can take two days out of the week and do it that way. Whatever you guys want to do. It's your channel, not mine. Um, and the next point that I'm going to talk about is gear doesn't matter. And this point for me personally is a little bit controversial. Like I don't entirely agree with it, but for most people, it's true. Um, so gear doesn't matter, meaning that you can take your phone like this and you can start shooting videos. And um, it doesn't need to be anything special really, just try to make sure you have some good audio. You know, if you can't get a good mic right away, 
um, that's fine, you know, just to start out with, but good audio is very, very important. Um, for me personally, I'm using the Comica Boom XD wireless lavier microphone, which is a, a very professional wireless microphone, so I don't expect you guys to, to be able to afford it or add it to your gear collection. Um, but for me personally, it's my favorite choice. You know, it's definitely good when I can hide it kind of under my jacket a little bit um, to keep it away from wind noise and whatnot. Um, so for me personally, um, when I started out, I started with my phone. So I started like most YouTubers, you know, just with whatever you can get your hands on. So um, use your phone for starters. If you do have the money to get a DSLR, I would definitely recommend it. DSLRs are way better. Um, yeah, um, moving into the next point, <laughs> um, be authentic. And this is, this is my last and final point here, but it is a very, very important point. Um, because being authentic will show in your videos, you know, it, it will, um, directly affect your channel, um, in a big way. Um, so if you're, if you're being fake, you know, if you're, trying to be like other YouTubers out there that are doing a bunch of crazy stuff, but that's not really who you are. Um, number one, the video probably won't turn out that good. Um, you know, the traction on the video is probably not going to be that good. Um, and even if it is, and you do get a lot of views, um, people are going to find out eventually that you're not being authentic. So, um, just a matter of time and you don't want that downfall, you know, that that's going to suck. Um, so for my videos personally, you know, I, I like to be authentic. I, I prefer to be authentic. You know, um, I see a lot of stuff out there, you know, I do get on social media, but I, I don't post anything really. Like, you know, we're talking like Facebook, um, Twitter, those kind of things. Um, I do go on TikTok sometimes, but it's not like a main thing I do. So I see the stuff that's out there, but I don't pursue it. That's basically what I'm trying to convey here. Um, so although you see other people doing some crazy stuff, don't follow that trend, you know, don't, um, don't do it just because it's getting views or whatever, you know, just be yourself, you know, cause I, I promise you guys, um, if you're going to be yourself and very authentic, people will see that people will appreciate it and people will want to follow your journey because they can relate to you. You know, they're, they're not trying to relate to someone who's, you know, very out there, you know what I mean? Like very extroverted and like you know doing crazy stuff all the time a lot of those channels out there you know they they're fine with doing that but i would not recommend it you know you guys can do what you want to do i'm not trying to tell you to go either way but i wouldn't do it i wouldn't do it um being yourself is very important you know i, I do understand that a lot of people may not want to do that right off the bat they may uh they may be kind of nervous about it but I promise you guys, it'll all be okay. Just uh, don't be so authentic that you give away like where you live or something, you know what I mean? Because <laughs> that would be not good. Um, so be safe doing it, you know? Just, um, just be authentic in the way that you speak. Be authentic in um, your opinions about various things. Um, if it is a video that you're choosing to shoot about something. And then just, you know, understand that YouTube is a place where you can broadcast yourself. You know, that was their original motto, I believe. Pretty sure it was YouTube broadcast yourself. It was so many years ago um, since I last saw this, but I'm pretty sure that's YouTube's main motto. So, you know, the platform's got a bunch of stuff out there, but if you are going to be yourself and just share, you know, your life, your story, your opinions about things, um, it, it's good. You know, it, it's very good. Um, those are the channels that I follow, people that are like that, very authentic um, and real. And um, yeah, you know, it, it's something that, that I find very, very inspirational. And yeah, that, I'm just rambling at this point, but you guys get what I'm saying here. Um, those are my five tips for starting your first YouTube channel. Um, hopefully, you know, you guys took away something from this video. If you want me to do more videos like this, let me know in the comments down below and I will do that. Um, it also, if you're new here, uh, before I end the video, uh, definitely go ahead and subscribe down below. My words are getting kind of, you know, slippery and stuff. So yeah, I'm starting to like slur my words and everything because I've been shooting so many videos right now, but, um, yeah, you know, subscribe down below. I'd appreciate it. And yeah, I'm going to end the video here. Thank you for watching.
as always.